Coming up today is all this. That's a funny place to leave a bale. Looks like someone's lost one. Just in the sunflower maze now. Pigeons have pretty much demolished most of them. Got a, not a bad stand of oilseed rape though. I wish they'd eat this oilseed rape on this field because this isn't a crop. Rather than eat the oilseed rape on the field that we're trying to grow oilseed rape in. Well, I think it's too tall and bushy for them to actually get hold of it. It's odd though, different, different colour to what it was in the spring. Loaded chip ready to go. Hydraulic pipe, brake pipe rubbing on the floor. Good job it's got air brakes. It's 12 degrees today, but it feels about, I don't know, hotter than yesterday. And then the day before that, I think it was 14. Anyway, we're going to Brook House now, take the Christmas decorations down. Olivia's just unplugging the chart. Have you unplugged it? No. Oh, you have to turn it off. No, no, turn it off. Forgot it's okay. Huh? Saving the planet. Just here now, got the boxes. So we'll take the Christmas decorations down that are going up the stairs and wherever else. And apparently, Olivia's running and they've left us some chocolate. All down now, lots of glitter left on the floor. A few bottles been left, they must have had a good party. Just need to get that table stained now to match the other one. Here looks good outside. Left a calendar as well. Not as good as the Olive Blogs calendar. Still a few left if you check it out on eBay. This is the paddle for stirring the hot tub. And someone's been using it for poking the fire. Quickly going to do the birthday bumper before it goes dark. So if your name is on the happy birthday to you. There's a lot of people saying yesterday that they've not had a proper look yet at the 7710. Well, that is because it kind of came and we basically put the fairy lights on it straight away. It needs them taken off, which we'll do this week. And then we'll give it all a good clean. Inside the cab needs a good clean. It's still full of bits of soil and stuff and uh, things to do with the tractor on so cables and lights and things and then obviously it's got the deer on the back and somehow that panel's coming off so we'll just i'll just quickly show you around the cab while we're here dead simple layout pto speeds are here headland management system is hms doesn't mean it's a boat heater controls air conditioning ashtray which is something you don't see in tractors anymore because you, you know you can't smoke in them and you shouldn't anyway it's filthy three spool valves and then i think that button flicks over for the pickup pitch i did briefly show you this yesterday the other day hand throttle there then right hand forwards and reverser so you've got park which is what it's in now it's got a little p that's faded a little bit and you've got forwards reverse a four speed power quad i think we call it and then you've got a to e in ranges four wheel drive and auto four wheel drive and then a little digital clock there which i think still works no, it doesn't. Let's have a look what's going on with that. Up the top, radio. Don't think it's got a CD player. And you've got your lights, controls, steering wheel, wipers, and then obviously a digital dashboard, which displays the hours. So I think it's just, just over 5,000 hours, 5322, which is really low for a tractor of this age. So it's 20 years old. Like I showed you the other day, it just needs the, the roof lining sorting. It is sagging a bit. I don't know whether you can buy a new roof lining. Someone will probably know or whether I could take it out, glue it and repair it. But just a dead straight genuine tractor. Handbrake down there, which you will never use because you've got park. Oh, cigarette lighter there. That's quite handy. A little phone holder as well. That's what we're running the lights off. And it's got the what they call field office, which is like a lunchbox. And then they used to have a bit of a fridge underneath and fuses. It's full of Jamie's snacks. Fold down passenger seat, really neat passenger seat made by Grammar. You basically fold out and spin and then click into place like that. They're actually quite comfortable. I put one of them in a Valtra because we used to have Valtras for years and they had rubbish passenger seats. So I made a bracket to fit one of them in there. Because like I say, it's made by Grammar. That would be your cold start button. I think that's an ether button. And you've got the diff lock pedal down there by my toe. Just come on now. Throttle. I think that used to be orange. A bit of rubber on maybe. Someone someone watching might know. Should that have a rubber flap on that's black or orange? Independent brake, so you've got two brake pedals, one for each right, one for the right, one for the left, locked together for on the road. Headlight switch. Sorry. Work lights and headlights and driving lights. 
Yeah, that's the 7710 inside. I may as well show you around the back, to be fair, because we've, we've, I've showed you mostly around the cab. Don't know whether anyone noticed, but it's got these steps that sort of come down the side. Now, that's kind of American design, but I believe that most of them did have that. There's one a bit bent here and a bit bent there. They need straightening out. In fact, that snapped, doesn't it? We can sort that easily enough. Little toolbox under the step. Really easy to get on and off, to be fair. It was quite shallow. And then in the back here, linkage just like all of them of that era. Very similar John Deere design. But the, the cross shaft, the bit across the back, has no wear in it whatsoever. And that was what used to always wear out on these tractors. And obviously, it's got the big deer on the back that the ears have fell off. I need to take that off. But push out hitch. PTO shaft guard isn't bent. They normally get bent. The top link is in the workshop as well. Three spills. Two of them, are, one's pumped to the hitch. I think one's pumped to the front linkage or two go into the front linkage. It's on a 710, 7038 rear tires as well. The 650s on the front, BKTs all around. Yeah, 665s actually, good tires. Yeah, it's got a service going to here as well. So if you had front mower with side shift or something, well, you couldn't have a front mower with side shift because there's no front PTO. Um, I suppose you'd have a front tank on a drill maybe. You could have a hydraulic supply, power and a fan, and then that would lift the tank up and down. Otherwise, I can't really think of a use, use for the front side shift, uh, front service, unless you had something with a PTO on. LaForge front linkage, name of another YouTube channel, Farming at LaForge. Check them out, that's in France. Then this side, all standard, unmauled fuel pump, which is nice to see. And then this here, this is a bit of wax, but that is the only thing wrong with it. A little bit of rust just on this back mud guard here. But for its age, it's pretty good condition. This always falls off the lights though. It's a bit of a shame. They're like galvanized underneath or aluminium and it reacts with the paint. I think it's done it on um, the 936 as well. Yeah, that's the hinge on the 936. Same sort of thing there. The aluminium paint oxidizes. Al aluminium oxidizes and the paint flakes off. Looks well in the shed though, especially next to the 4955. Just a dead straight, genuine UK tractor. We'll take the lights off, we'll give it a good clean, and it probably wants a dust cover early for when it's living in this shed. But is more than capable of doing a day's work on this farm. Some of the other tractors are maybe a little bit small or they don't have enough services on them, like the 1455. We couldn't even use that for rolling because it's only got two rear services. This has got three, so that'd be ideal. And it's on nice big wide tires as well. But we don't want to clock the hours up on it because we want to try and keep it one of the lowest that around. If anyone knows the one with any less hours on, let me know. Not that I'm interested in buying it, I've spent up, but I don't, I've never seen one advertised with less hours than this one. Which would be your favorite anyway, if you had to spend the day on one? Would it be the 7710 or the 4955? I suppose it probably depends on how old you are. Let me know anyway. See, we'll try and age the viewers by whether they prefer a 49 or a 77. Me and Andrew are just taking the lights off the 77 now, actually. There's cables everywhere. Going up to the roof, going up to the. I don't know. Oh no, that's, yeah, that's for the roof. That's for a deer. That's for a deer. Running an inverter in the back here. Or it. What do you reckon? Leave the sticky blobs on or take them off. That is where yesterday's quiz question goes. It is a Fent 900 series toolbox. Slides into there. Slightly deeper than on the 700 series, I think. On a 700 series, on a different size and fits in there. Yeah, we've taken most of the stickers, uh, sorry, most of the lights off this. There's still the little sticky blobs on the bonnet around there-ish. Andrew's been taking them off his as well, and they look really burnt out of the tractors, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, we'll finish off tomorrow. I think we'll put it in the workshop where it's warm, and then if we're going to take them sticky bobbles off, it'll be a bit easier. Had to launch a duck house before, so there's a quick video of that. Is the duck house going to float? Test one to see whether it floats. Is it floating? No. 
<laughs> sinking. Okay, sinking. Filled up with water. The ducks want to go in that house instead of this one. It sinks. Try it again now. There we go. Fox shouldn't get him now. Right, take us back to shore. Okay. You're in the wrong seat though. Just before I go, if anyone is watching from Class UK, I haven't had my new class calendar yet this year, which is a bit of a shame. So if you're watching, can you please send me one? Because I've got loads of my own, but none of them. Anyway, thanks to everyone that's watching today. Lots and lots of new subscribers. We're nearly at 30,000. So if you are a new subscriber, don't forget to tell me where you're watching from. I'm trying to build up a picture of where everyone is. And we are going to try and get an online thing where you can go on and log and put a pin in a map and then we can build a cluster of where everyone's at. Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you all tomorrow.